Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you tonight in my pajamas. I was like, I'm gonna film, film a video when I get home from work. And then I came home, fed the cats, got changed into jammies. I was like, oh, I still have to film. And I have some coffee. I am a coffee drinker until bedtime. It doesn't bother me. Mm. And it's only six o'clock. Okay, I don't have a ton of stuff to share with you because my Dollar Trees are doing that seasonal switch again. But I do have some things. First and foremost, these bags. I like these. These are treat bags. They're paper sacks. Um, I use them for lunch bags at my part-time job. So I got about 10 of them because I, I typically bring my meals to the, um, when I work at the university because there's really nothing there I can have. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. So if you're in 90s, remember like I am. My favorite, let's do a thumbnail with this. My favorite body product, shampoo, not shampoo, body wash, lotion, spray was Love Spell by Victoria's Secret. And this is their dupe. It takes me right back to the 90s. I think they had lotion too, but I have plenty of moisturizer, but I did actually need some shower gel. And every time I use this, I think about my trip to Puerto Rico when I was, well, sometime in the 90s, I don't exactly remember when, and cruises. I would always bring this on cruises. It is such a fresh scent. And it's a big bottle and it was $1.25. So I grabbed that. And then I found this Hey Humans brand of shower gel. And this is Coconut Mint. Smells delicious. Um, I, and like I said, I just needed some shower gel. This comes in a metal container. I saw somebody else who was hauling it. And they said that it was um, a nice high end. It is recyclable. It's made, it's made, it's in an aluminum recyclable can. It is cruelty free, which is important to me. I don't know if the love spell stuff is. I don't know if, if the spa luxury brand from the Dollar Tree is cruelty free. I'll have to look that up. I hope so. So I got some shower gel, just some necessities because I need those, right? Everybody needs necessities in life. Um, oh, some chocolates. Always. And then I got some crafty bits. I picked up two of these. They're round, but you can take that off. I'm actually thinking of making some plant stands out of these, like sitting these on top of some pretty planters and then putting a plant on top to give some depth, height, maybe, Lori. So I grabbed two of them. They were only $3.00. I don't really know if that's good or bad, but it is solid wood so I can stain these and seal them and then they will be water protected. And then I will put them in my bay window this spring with all my flowers, which I need to go to Walmart and get some flower pots. I need some larger flower pots. Um, And then still in the crafty aisle, I grabbed one of these. I can't find my other one. It's I use it for stickers and cricketing and it's like, you know, to burnish things down. So I got that. And then for pottery, I grabbed some of the rubber stamps. So this is just a clear block and you stick these to it. So I got the alphabet because I can spell words on the block and then push it into, push it into my pottery and it will um, stay. So I just got the letters. Um, but then I also got two sets. These are not new, but it's just, I can't see them. It's just leaves, different leaves. And then this one is some flowers and leaves. And I got these for my pottery, not my, well, I can use it for my air dry clay, but this is for my pottery class that I go to. And then this is amazing. So what this is, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. It's calendars, right? So you get your Monday through Friday or Sunday through Saturday, depending on how you like your weeks. And then there's six different, seven lies, seven different calendars, right? 
And depending on what day of the week your calendar starts, like that month starts, you have a different one. So you can make your own little planner notes. I mean, this would be fantastic for like a to-do list or something. So if January, Monday started on the 1st, I would use that. Same, or on, yeah, Monday the 1st. Or if it was Tuesday the 1st, there is another one. So there's six of them, seven actually, that start each beginning of the week. So you'll have a calendar for every month. And it's a perpetual. You just stamp whatever you want. So I grabbed those because I thought that is genius. And I'm sure they'll work just fine. They're just rubber stamps. And then, you know, you just have your... You stick it on, it'll stick to the back of that. You stamp it and then you peel it off and put it back on its plastic for storage. So I grabbed those because, duh, we need that stuff. And then I found these in the Easter section, which are just little carrot Easter trees. They're just little bottle burst trees. They had larger ones, but I don't need more bottle burst trees in my life. But these, one, these little tiny ones are adorable. Is that my hair in there? That is not my hair. Alex! No, sir. Um, that's somebody else's hair that's stuck in the package. Okay, I'll take care of that later. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, they had a whole lot of bee stuff. And this is just a little tiny jar that has like the little sides on it and then a bee. And it is bumped out and then the little yellow wax but I will burn this candle it doesn't smell terrible it smells like honeysuckle sunflower sunflower it smells like a honeysuckle to me but and then I will totally 100% clean it out and use it for something because it is too cute not to I like it and then they had them in I think white as well but they had lots of bee stuff if you're into bees I know this is going to be a short video, guys. I do apologize, but... And then I got these. I'm going to open them up. I want to see actually how big they are. I have been getting my tax stuff ready. And in my life, that means this is a three-pack. And they're just document keepers. I don't know if it'll be big enough for me to put my tax backup in. But it's just an envelope. And I like to have, but I think this might be too small, but I like to have things like this to store my taxes in each year. It just makes it easier for me to know. Um, and it does come with three. So we'll see if it's not thick enough for my taxes. I also could store stickers in here. You can store scrapbook paper. You could store any kind of document that you need to take to the print shop or whatever. Um, but I like these and they're great. I don't wouldn't use them every single day, but honestly, I pull my tax stuff out. I put it in an envelope and I file it in a file folder and I just have it as my backup in case I need it. Um, if you haven't watched my Monday's video, you should check that out. I have a giveaway embedded in that video of a hundred envelope challenge with the stuff I bought at the Dollar Tree and made, um, with Antimu. And also like and subscribe. It helps my channel. I got to remember to start saying that. Um, I grabbed a new Sharpie. I, I use Sharpies all the time. So I just grabbed one because it's easier. I grabbed a couple, I think, maybe one. I thought I grabbed two of these, but maybe not. Oh, yes, I did. Two face masks. These are also cruelty-free. Taste Beauty is the brand. And this one is calming and this one is hydrating. So these are fun. And if you're doing Easter baskets for you know, of your tweens, young adults, I don't know. I would say the moisturizing one, maybe the calm one doesn't really have anything that's terrible for um, young people's skin. They just have to be careful with all this stuff. But I don't feel like these have anything in it. Water, glycerin, uh, aloe. There is fragrance, so if they have sensitive skins. But these are just fun. But think like uh, Easter baskets. They're very spring in color. You know, I know we all think candy at Easter. But honestly, I mean, I think little people and young people, Young adults enjoy beauty products and other things just as much. 
like if you have somebody in your life that loves office supplies like I do. Um, I grabbed these. I am obsessed with the colors. I just love that they're not glittery, bright, and sparkly, but they're still fun. So I think these, I need to go buy greenery for my work arch that I have. And I just want plain green garland, like nothing fancy. I don't want glittery. And then I'm going to decorate it with some eggs and stuff. So, and I think I, I'm going to hang these eggs from it. But these are just part of the regular $1.25 section. I probably should have gotten two, but I'll make it work. So there was that. Oh, I got a couple more things in here. And that's all. All right. Let me do this. Um, oh, these I am obsessed with. These are stickers, right? But they're fake wax seals. Now these, this color here, and I only literally found these two and I'm on the hunt for them. Speaking of on the hunt, if you find at your Dollar Tree, the little um, plastic, it holds a, a ball of yarn and you, and then it has a hole at the top. I need those in my life. I will happily pay shipping and whatever. If anybody finds them, I have yet to see them. And online you have to order 45. I'm not ordering 45 of them or 48 is a case. Anyway, back to this. These say for you, love, thank you. And they're stickers. So you put them on the back of like thank you cards. But these are the ones that I'm obsessed with. They're crowns. Most of them are crowns and like floor de -lis. I know. So I've been on the hunt for more of these because I love them. So you can use them for all different things like envelopes. You can use them to hold like gift tags and things like that. I just love them. So I grabbed those. Um, the other thing, oh, I got these as well for similar. I think I bought these for the 100 envelope challenge and I forgot to pull them out. But these are um, dot labels. So they're just like the little circles. You can't really tell that they are circles in there, but they are. And you can like write on them. You can also use these to seal envelopes. I will be using them to seal some little gifts that I'm taking with me on my next cross stitching retreat. So I grabbed those and then I found these. So these will obviously both work. And then I'm obsessed. I found finally, I have not seen these at my store, but they're the Jot Clear Post-it Note. I know. Now, they, oh, they're transparent, they call them. Here's my thing though. I don't know what you... So that is under the under it. Right? They're transparent. Does it tell me what I'm writing with? It just says made of high quality PET material, smooth surface for writing, waterproof and durable. So like if you're making notes in a book or something, you can see the writing underneath. I know. So I have to figure out what pen to use. And this is a pack of 100, which I'm not mad about that. And it's pretty sticky too. I I find that lots of times like the Jot post-its don't stick, but this is going to stick. I'm so excited. I love these. Um, so I grabbed a pack of those. I don't need more than one, Lori. Right? Right. And then the last thing I got, I'm excited for. I've seen these all over some other social medias. The chickens. I should make this my thumbnail. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at these. They're white. Somebody said they had bigger ones, but I don't know. This is the biggest one. It's just an egg with a chicken head on it. And they came in white and black. These are 100% going to be sitting in with my plants this spring in my front window, like just tucked in there. I'm dying. So I love those a lot. And that is everything. I think let me double check. Let me double check. Yes, that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree this week. Um, yeah, 
I hope you enjoy. I'm looking around to see if I see anything else, which I do not. So I hope you enjoyed that little quick Dollar Tree haul. Um, yeah, found some new stuff. I am telling you, these are just going to make my day. And yeah, you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later.